while I'm in Luling, I thought I would work my way through my art supply review backlog. And um, my friend Boss Goose sent this set of Lyra Aquacolor high quality watercolor crayons to well she sent them and um i think it's because they were on my list of supplies to review on amazon so review them i shall and this is really timely because i'm working on the watercolor basics series and i do mention other watercolor crayons and at the time i didn't realize she'd sent this because it had been unpacked and squirreled away um so I was regretting that I didn't have more to compare them to, but now I have a set of the Lyra Aquacolor crayons to give a shot. And they are high quality, fine art, water soluble, and 9.5 millimeters round. And Lyra is a German com company. It's based in Nuremberg, Germany. Um, and the back says, a water-soluble wax crayon which suits highest creative demands. Lyra Aquacolor crayons are extremely high pigmented, resulting in color brilliancy and high light fastness. They are water-soluble and easy to blend, allowing an almost unlimited range of colors. So we're going to explore these with a swatch test coming up. Hey guys, so today we are going to take a look at the Lyra Aquacolor watercolor crayons that were sent to me by the ever wonderful Boss Goose. I have not yet opened them, but we're going to go ahead and do the swatch test for these today. They come in a metal tin and these have been shrink wrapped. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove them from the packaging. All right, so our metal tin is hinged and it opens at the top and I see that travel because I did fly with these has um, put them out of order and dislodged them. So I'm going to replace them neatly back wow, into their individual spaces. And then we're gonna go ahead and get swatching. And if you are interested in more watercolor crayon or water media reviews, please head on over to natosoup.blogspot.com. So I have them all sorted neatly now. And there is information on the inside of the tin. It is a list of the colors inside, which I'll go ahead and read to you. There is white, lemon cadmium, lemon, canary yellow, light orange, dark orange, pale geranium lake, dark carmine, magenta, blue violet, light cobalt, light blue, true blue, Russian blue, night green, moss green, apple green, dark sepia, van dyke brown, gold ochre, burnt ochre, Venetian red, Pompeian red, and black. And it seems like it starts this way and moves right. And one of these crayons has already cracked. That may have happened in transit and may have happened due to the sudden cold weather. And Lyra is a German brand made in Nuremberg. So we're gonna go ahead and begin swatching these. And I guess I'll just start from the top down. Now we have a white and typically with a white uh, water media, we're going to need some black to test opacity. So I went ahead and grabbed a black Sharpie and it is totally not archival, but it's totally gonna be fine for our purposes. And I will try to move my camera out of the shadow. Unfortunately, I'm working on a tripod rather than the overhead camera mount, but twisting the light seems to help. So we've got our white aqua color. It says aqua well, which is watercolor, uh, Lyra, Nuremberg, Germany. There's an email address and an internet address, as well as the color name right there on the very front of the crayon. And so far, good opacity. I think I'm going to apply everything dry and then um, go over them with water. And it feels a bit like a nice... Um, it's a little softer than your typical crayon, so it's almost like a nice oil pastel. These 
watercolor crayons are some of the butteriest watercolor crayons I've had the pleasure of working with. And I'm really excited to see how they handle water. Ah, see this one is another one that's gotten messed up, unfortunately. It's, it feels gummy, it feels broken in the in the package, it feels gummy. But fortunately, I have already handled many of the others, so I know that that one may have gotten messed up when flying. Uh, I flew in winter and I did check that bag, so um, it may have frozen in the storage compartment of the plane. Sometimes um, very extreme weather conditions can ruin art supplies, which is a shame because these are rather lovely. For the most part, they're very buttery and soft. They seem to have a fairly high pigment yield. So it's a shame that me flying may have ruined them, or at least some of them. I may have to put them in my backpack and carry them on my person when I fly back. And finally, sorry, black. So, pull out so that you guys can see how all of the colors look. And these have been swatched on Canson Mont, no, Canson Biggie watercolor paper. So I'm going to zoom in again and begin the water test. So I have to admit, I think I really did ruin some of these colors when traveling um, because some of them really handled um, better, much better than others, like black uh, dissolves very, very readily when you add water. Some of the yellows also div dissolve quite quickly, but then some of the blues, particularly the one that was falling apart in my hand, which I think was due to just becoming too cold when flying, and I'll zoom in. Um, just didn't react as well. So these seem like they are very nice watercolor pencils, uh, handle a bit like water soluble pastels even, um, but you do wanna be careful that they do not get too cold because cold weather may ruin them. So hopefully I will see you guys again with a field test.